do you get your kids to stop drinking soda? That's a really big question. And should you bother? Hi, I'm Susan Marks, and I'm here to bring you greater clarity on how to live a long and healthy life. I do the research so you don't have to. Today's topic, how to get your kids to stop drinking soda. The good news is you can. First, why should you? Well, the list of reasons is long and compelling, but let's start with the fact that there's absolutely no nutritional value in soda. Sodas are the largest source of refined sugar in a child's diet. The average teenage boy drinks three cans of soda a day. There are about nine teaspoons of sugar in a can of Coke. Can you even imagine what your coffee would taste like with nine teaspoons of sugar? So let's start with the obvious, the sugar. Hang in there, diet soda drinkers. I'll get to you in a minute. The sh sugar is generally in the form of high fructose corn syrup, which is chemically processed from GMO corn. Sugar suppresses your immune system. Catching too many colds? Lay off the soda. Sugar ages you faster, not just leading to more wrinkles, but a decline in age of all the cells of your body. It does this through a process known as glycation, which throws the aging process into fast forward, and much of the damage that's done is not reversible. Sugar raises your insulin levels. When you drink a soda, your blood sugar spikes, causing your pancreas to release insulin to balance the sugar in your blood. More sugar, more insulin, after a while, your pancreas just stops reacting to the call. And congrats, you're now an insulin-dependent diabetic. Research shows that women who drink one sugary soda a day are twice as likely to develop diabetes than the women who drink only one a month. A study from the University of Iowa showed that cola beverages can be corrosive to teeth material, eroding the enamel which leads to cavities. The harmful effect is due to the acid content of the soda. There goes your dental bill. And speaking of the acid content, your blood needs to maintain its pH balance of 7.4. Most sodas have a pH level of 2 or 3, making you acidic when you drink it. In order to keep you at the 7.4 balance, your body will pull calcium from your bones to neutralize the acid. A history of osteoporosis in your family? Lay off the soda. A new 2013 study in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology shows that people who drink even one soda a day show a significant increase in kidney stone formation. Ouch! Most sodas are loaded with caffeine. Caffeine has a diuretic effect, pulling water out of your cells and promoting dehydration. Did you know that a mere 2% drop in body water can trigger fuzzy short-term memory, trouble with basic math, and difficulty focusing? And get this, to replace the water lost from one caffeinated soda, you need to drink eight glasses of water. Focus lacking at school? Drink water. Do you think diet soda is any better because it doesn't have the sugar? Diet sodas are sweetened with aspartame. Aspartame is an excitotoxin, which is a substance that literally stimulates your neurons in your brain to death. According to Dr. Russell Blaylock, a neurosurgeon and author of the fascinating book, Excitotoxins, The Taste That Kills, tells us that more and more diseases of the nervous system are being linked to excitotoxin buildup in the brain. For example, disorders such as strokes, seizures, migraine headaches, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, and several more. Did it ever occur to you that drinking diet sodas every day could be the reason for your migraines, or worse, responsible for a future case of Alzheimer's? Soda is everywhere we look, and Coca-Cola spends over $3 billion a year on advertising. Yes, that was $3 billion with a B. So, how do you get your kids to stop from drinking soda? Well, first off, you have to model what you want from them. That means no soda in the house, and obviously you can't drink it, but expect them not to. You know, kids have no respect for that double standard, do as I say, not as I do thing. It simply won't work. Our kids are really in tune with our energy, meaning they can smell when we're not sincere, and they also know when we really mean it. Demonizing soda won't help. If you say angrily, don't drink that, it's crap, they'll think you're crazy. Haven't you seen the ads, mom? This isn't crap. I'm drinking happiness. 
Remember, they're victim to the $3 billion worth of ads. If you say with fear in your voice, you can't have that, it'll kill you. Expect an eye roll. Really, mom, you're being dramatic. Everyone drinks it, nobody's dropping over dead. Saying things in a state of anger or fear rarely works when we're communicating with our children. They pick up on the energy and tune out the words. So try this and mean it. Oh, honey, I love you too much to let you drink that Coke. No, sweetheart, I care for you too much to let you drink the soda. Honey, if I didn't love you so much, I wouldn't care, but you mean the world to me. I just can't let you drink that soda. Say it with love, mean it, stick with it. Say it over and over and over and model good behavior. Kids know when you're sincere. They know when you're telling the truth. Be honest with them. Keep it simple, keep it real, and keep it from your heart. That's an energy they'll hear. Remember, you're up against the addictive properties of caffeine and an annual ad budget that's bigger than the ad budget of Microsoft and Apple combined. You're gonna have to be consistent. Say it again and again and again, and say it each time with love. They'll get the message, eventually. So I try to keep in mind that our children may not remember the exact words we spoke, but they will remember how they felt when we spoke them. Anyway, what do you drink instead? Water, 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 water. Plain, no calorie, no caffeine, no sugar, wonderful, life-giving, hydrating water. In my house, the first thing we do in the morning is everyone drinks a big glass of water. It gets us hydrated and ready for work and school. It's a great habit for the whole family to get into. I have some friends who incentivize their children, and here's how. The whole family stopped ordering drinks at restaurants and had water instead. What they saved on soda went into a vacation fund. Stay on top of your health. Go on over to Greater Clarity and sign up for my email tips. And while you're there, I want to hear from you. What's your best advice for getting your children to give up soda? Your insight might make a real difference in someone's life. It's my job to make it easy for you to stay informed, stay healthy, and live your life with energy and zest. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and feel free to forward it to everyone you love. Remember, you're powerful because of your ability to choose. Choose to take care of your health so you can shine your light on everyone around you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.